Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to The Witcher. Uh, let's head out and Thank let's you. do this. We are heading towards the Dagon. Uh, I have no clue what to expect, but uh, that thing needs to die for everyone to be happy. So, I'm gonna try to make that happen. On the way, we will talk to Berengar again, see if there's any other information that he has, since it's uh, last time we talked to him, he's a little bit on the grouchy side. Didn't really have a whole lot to say to us. Understandable. Whatever. Uh, he, we found out, has worked for Salamandra. He was straight up about it. Um, the thing that's interesting... Well, he wasn't straight up. Eventually he was. Eventually he told us. But what's interesting about it is that you gotta consider kind of his side of things. He didn't want to become a witcher. And, you know, if, if we were talking about, like, vampires as an example, he would probably... Like, you would... People would probably side with him a lot easier if it were a vampire that bit him or something and turned him against his will. And I guess his story is kind of similar, but for witchers. So, I mean, I can kind of get that in a way. Let's talk to him one more time anyways. Yeah. Nothing. Farewell. All right. Peace. The other thing is that the Lady of the Lake said that she would give us a gift. Uh, that was some time ago. So I'll talk to her one more time before we go to the altar and use that little... Would she give us a ruby or a... A sapphire or something? This thing here. Lady of the Lake's ruby. A deep red ruby made of the Lady of the Lake's enchanted blood. Radiates strange energy. And remember, reading about that Dagon, um... It's... It's not susceptible to attacks. And it feeds off the energy of its followers or something like that. That was a basic gist. So I'm thinking if there's a guy out there... Well, there is that guy out there. Um, I'll talk to him and see how that goes. And... Place the ruby and then, I mean... Fingers crossed. <laughs> see what goes down. How serene, Geralt. How serene. I've been skipping these cutscenes recently, but, uh... I feel like we're about to have a major showdown. And so I kind of want to get in the zone, you know? We definitely have to potion up as well. We'll see if the, yeah, the Lady of the Lake's still here. So we'll talk to her one more time, then we'll drink some potions. And uh, we'll go to town. There was the Basilisk contract, but I've only, I've only found a couple, so... Yes? I was supposed to slay Dagon. Indeed. Go to the altar and challenge him. Okay. I'm working on it. Here we go. Let's potion up. Uh, let's do... Yeah, it's gonna have to be... Oh no, here's an agrito. There we go. Okay, that's good. And then Tawny Owl. There we go. I wonder if, like, do wyverns only come out at night? Because this place has always been just pumping with wyverns. Um, and I don't see any. Interesting. Let's check out our... Yeah, okay. So there's not much going on here, aside from a couple fireplaces, and then this thing. We already checked this crate, I believe, but just to be sure. Yeah. So we've got this guy standing here. Uh, let's talk to him. The 
Dagon Acolyte. Uh, okay. Oh, there's a there's a royal wyvern. I actually I want to kind of go and take care of this thing in case we do have a, th a big showdown here. I really don't want to be fighting more things than necessary. Oh, and a corpse. Well, isn't that dandy? Oh, I love it. Let's do a charge. Slice and dice. That'll work. All right. Ooh, Mount Carbon Dwarven Axe. That's cool. Don't mind if I do. Okay, now. This little acolyte's not talking to me, so I'm guessing maybe he's one of the followers and maybe I have to... Uh, like, I'm kind of thinking that I have to kill something that believes in this guy or whatever. In this Dagon. That's the vibe I'm getting. Altar of Dagon. Let's put this ruby in it. Oh, look at this! Oh my god. This could... This is kind of scary. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's bringing helpers. This is it, eh? Look at this. We want to keep him in the water, I think, because if they get onto land, he gets really crazy. Oh, yeah. Nope. Dagon Worshipper. Oh, wait. I think I get it. I think I might get it. Hold on. Oh, no. I'm stuck here. This is bad. Oh, I can knock the Dagon down, though. Look at that. It is hurting him. Oh, God. Let me out of here. Uh-oh. I do not want to be this close to him. I hope I'm doing this right. I'm thinking I have to kill his little minions here to truly hurt him. And it looks like it's working every time I, uh... And he just heals him right up if I don't take care of him. My endurance regeneration is ridiculous now. I can knock him down fairly easily, which is kind of interesting. But these things just keep coming back. I don't know, maybe I am doing something wrong. Oh, his health is dropping. But is, is it... It's dropping based on how many of these guys go down, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're on the right track. We're on the right track. Just thought I would try something different. Running. There 
we go. There we go. There we go. He's almost down. The stun works great because it blows him back most of the time, too. So gnarly. That is awesome. We did that. <laughs> so sick. I've been looking forward to this Dagon fight for like a long time. That's awesome. That is how you kill a Dagon. Right there. Okay, let's head back to the lady and let her know what I did. Hope she'll be like, <laughs> you were wrong. Everyone hates each other now and the world's at war. In a little bit of a higher voice. I'm also pretty confident that I've explored all the crypts in the area. And all that jazz. So I think the rest of the Raven armor stuff is probably going to be later on. Yes. You guys did mention it carries over into another chapter. I killed Dagon. In gratitude, I will part the curtain of mists, allowing oh. you to recall something of your past abilities. Okay. Thank you, Milady. Use my gift wisely. Milady, it seems I am needed in murky waters. Destiny has brought you here. We must speak. Naturally. I am a goddess. You are the sword of destiny. Death has followed you for years. Perhaps. Accept this gift from the Lady of the Lake. It will help you fulfill your destiny. What gift is that? Whoa. Oh, sick. Neil, Geralt of Rivia, White Wolf. You traveled a long path fraught with danger. You demonstrated courage and goodness. By divine power, I hereby knight you. Face your enemies without fear. Safeguard the helpless. Never lie, even if it means your death. That is your oath. Arise, a knight. Destiny will give you no rest. A long road lies ahead. I see death and blood. I see frosty chaos. Take this sword as a sign of my favor. Once the blade of a great warrior, it lay in the depths for ages, awaiting your arrival. Milady. Shh, Witcher. It matters not if you believe in destiny. With the blade I present you, you will complete your mission. Thank you, milady. Go, White Wolf, and do what must be done. May you fulfill your destiny. That's incredible. Really cool. Let's check this out. Erendite. Crazy. Look at this. So, damage plus 60, attack plus 10. Critical effects. Wow. And it, I just got a, a quest thing saying this has a quest of its own, basically. So that's pretty insane. So now I have two pretty great swords. Uh, one for humans, one for... For monsters. This human sword that we bought... I didn't really get a chance to use it very much. Uh, in this area, at least. So... That's too bad, but... We have a lot of money now. I'm feeling pretty confident. And, uh... I guess all that's left... Is what? Guess go back... Talk to Alvin? It says it's still here.
That would have been sick if I could go down there. <laughs> but also probably wouldn't make a lot of sense. So what else do we have here? Track the quest, but this is way over here. And we're here. So that's not going to be possible. Getting a basilisk would be nice. Well, let's head back to town then and see if I can find anybody. I will rest at a, at a uh, campfire here. Maybe I can get the last basilisk for Julian. I do have a, oh, I have a leftover silver talent. Jeez, I didn't even notice that. Uh, what did I want to do with that? What did I want to do with that? Let's go into strong silver. Done. And let's go till midnight. Only because I'm hoping this brings out the basilisks more of the monsters at night, I think. Oh, this is bad. Hello, running. I have no beef with you, wyverns. Oh shit. <laughs> I only want the basilisks. Rune sword. What the hell? Okay, I guess I'm throwing down. Oh, it's not letting me out of here. Oh There's my new fourth attack for the strong one. That'll work. Yes, it will. Now, where... Is this little sword? Did I pick it up already? No. Oh, there it is. What the hell is this? Is that my old sword? I guess, probably. I could probably run back to, uh, oh, there's Basilisk. Awesome. I could probably run back to the inn, drop this sword in the inventory, come get this one just to sell, but... Oh shit, Berengar. Berengar? I betrayed Kier Moran's location to the Salamandra leader. Oh no. Then I helped him with their research. I was hunting the beast in the outskirts of Vizima when they captured me. I escaped and ran into Kalkstein, accepting his offer to open the tower in the swamp. That's when they nabbed me again. They weren't as nice the second time around. Finding Alvin, bringing him to them, was the only way I could save my skin. Why are you telling me this? I wanted to tell you to your face. See that famous icy glare of yours. This guy's kind of a prick. I don't hear remorse, all I hear is self-pity. You hate when the witchers did to you, all right. But you did join a group of subjects a uh, group that subjects children to experiments. I don't intend to judge you. Does that mean you understand? You don't condemn me? I can't condone your choices, but I guess I understand. Enough, traitor. Yeah, and I agree with this. This is exactly what I was saying earlier. I can't condone your choices, but I guess I understand. Meaning? Do what you think is right. I'm not your nanny. Take this. We'll meet again, White Wolf. What did he just give me? Berenger's letter. Interesting. The Book of the Full Moon. Dagon Sap. Berenger went his own way. I doubt we'll meet again. Which means we'll probably meet again. I have a job I need to finish. We'll read his letter in a second here.
I'm just, I'm getting like so incredibly powerful. It's awesome. There we go. So we already had two sitting at the inn, but uh, it's all good. Now we have a whole bunch extra. So let's read this up here. Uh, after following in his tracks for so long, I found myself unable to strike Berengar down. He's flawed and full of doubt, but it, he became a decent individual someday. Uh, I wonder how Berengar's story will end. And I, I feel that's the right thing. Like, again, like I don't, I don't condone his choices. I, I can't. It's really tough, but I really feel that we made the right decision there. And I get what he's been through and all that crap. So I will now head back to the inn. And I could probably level up there as well. I guess I could have just meditated by the fire, but... Whatevs. Ooh, hello. Geralt of Rivia. I've oft heard of your death. Forgive me, but I don't think I've ever heard of yours. <laughs> White Rayla. What brings you here, Witcher? Slaying monsters. Nothing unusual. Have you seen a unit of elves in the area? No. No units. Watch what you say. You're hardly untouchable. If I discover you working with the Scoyotel... Threatening me? No. Merely helping you to avoid a serious error whose consequences might prove too dire for you to handle. <laughs> you watch your step, too. I'm not some emaciated elf. I can defend myself. I don't doubt it. Know that Vizima is burning. Non-humans have turned it into a war zone. Those poor starving elves are murdering humans by the dozen. My orders are to halt the unit to Ruvia Lepshahil commands, and I won't have you getting in my oh. way. They're cowering in the village and have taken hostages. We'll attack soon. I'll talk to the elves. Maybe they'll listen to reason. Siegfried vouched for you, so I'll give you a chance. Oh, nice. Your intervention at the bank prevented the Scoyotel from gaining gold to buy arms and provisions. Though weak, I doubt they'll heed you. But you never know. Promise them a fair trial if they lay down their arms. I'll try to persuade them. Wait until I return. You have my word. Interesting. I gotta go to the village and speak with Truvial. And look who else is here. Somebody came to the party, and his name is Siegfried. My bro. Is he here? Oh, maybe he's not here. It's his group. The eternal fire speaks through the Grand Master. All right, well, nice to see you guys. Um, I'm gonna go to murky waters now What's so this? I'll see you guys soon-ish oh actually no 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 let's go see if the uh let's go to the village and speak it through veal nice the order we're chasing a group of scoyotel ended up here it appears that the fugitives and the local elves have taken some hostages in the village she promised to hold the soldiers back for now Okay, well that would that would tell me then that they're not at the uh, cave anymore. So I will head to Murky Waters. Try to avoid these wyverns if possible. Nope, not possible. That'll do, pig. That'll do. So, these people are not with, um, like that person we just talked to is with the order. 
Oh, here we go. Let's see if this guy has anything to say. Yep, of course he does. As White Rayla's adjutant, I would like a word with you, Witcher. I spoke to Rayla. Heard enough for today. Rayla is an excellent officer and truly detests non-humans. Perfect to lead this mission. But let me guess. Though she's a mercenary, she has her honor and keeps her word. Yet she's prepared to avert a massacre of civilians, even if that means the elves will escape. We foiled the robbery at Vivaldi's bank, and the Scoyatel are weakened. We can afford the best mercenaries, yet we cannot trust Rayla as we trust you. Looking to recruit me? <laughs> Am I to stand with Rayla and kill the elves before they murder the hostages? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just walk. I'll put it in your terms. Monsters infest the village, hunt its inhabitants. They are destitute and hungry, and all the more dangerous for that. Stand with Rayla, Witcher, with the Order, against these monsters. Why would I do that? For some of Vivaldi's gold? No, to support a just cause and prevent a massacre like that in the outskirts, and to save your friends from ravenous beasts. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that, buddy. I'm gonna try to talk this one out and see if I can uh, not have any side kill each other. Dandy! Gerald? Dandelion. Terubiel's elves have taken hostages in the village. What do we do? I spoke with Rayla. She's leading the Knights of the Order. Geralt. Alvin's one of the hostages. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know. I'll try negotiating with them. All right. I'll keep a lookout behind the village mayor's house. When you're ready, come tell me what to do. I need to talk to White Rayla and Teruviel. Somehow I doubt this will be easy. You'll manage. See you. Okay. Let's go find Teruviel. Maybe at the inn. Let's just mark it and see. Oh, they're at Selena's house. Okay. Well, let me see if Julian's here. At least I can give him the uh, basilisk stuff. No! Okay, things are in shutdown mode now. Fair enough. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. When we come back, we're going to head into uh, into the village, and we're going to talk to Teruvial and see if we can't get everything sorted out here. Obviously, we need to get Alvin out safely. Uh, that's my primary concern. And secondary concern is having everybody not kill everybody else. So, wish me luck with that. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.